Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review. We have a special one on the table tonight. We are going to Denmark to Bryggeriet Westfin or the Westfin Brewery in English. Uh, we are taking a look at one of their special beers. There you go guys in view. Willemos Strong Ale Jubilee Brew, 15 years. Coming in at 7% ABV in a big 660 ml bottle. There's Peter Willemo himself. He was a uh, big Danish uh, naval officer. Added rum from A.H. Riese. So it's a Danish naval rum producer. One of the oldest, I guess. There's the lovely box that came with it so it's a 15 year old uh jubilee brew uh rum infused strong ale guys there you go brewed with pride and honor they say beer brewed with the barley malt hops and yeast added rum malts vienna munich uh, i mean sure is that a uh, munich Chocolate and red ale. For hops, Hercules and Mosaic. For rum, A.H. Riese, Danish Navy rum. There you go. Brigrit Westfin. Lot of text there. So this is basically their 15-year uh, anniversary of their series based on Peter Willemo, the big Danish naval officer. Lot of text. Don't, uh, yeah. I can't uh, translate or even read all of that, but uh, hey, 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 there we go. There, there, there you got the Danish flag. That's the, actually the oldest one in the world. Uh, there you go. There's a little bit of uh, text there concerning the uh, the Riese uh, uh, rum provider from this series of beers. There you go. There's the bottle. There's the cap. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna pop this one i've been holding on to this for a year actually or at least a year i'm excited uh, let's get it out guys see what you get oh yeah touch of smoke and this beer is going out right let's stop right there see what we get okay guys what do we have we have a very very nice Three fingers worth of an off-white head. Definitely a lovely golden dark mahogany colored beer. Looks really, really fine. Let's get the aroma. I do get a lot of malts. Malts and hops. Almost like a soapy... Kind of a soapy, hoppy aroma. And a little bit of that doughy, bready maltiness floating around. That's kind of interesting because I don't really get any rum at all. This is, uh, of course, uh, a rum infused strong ale. Yeah, as I said, bro bready, doughy, with a kind of a, a hoppy, soapy vibe about it. But it's all in the taste, so let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Okay, so I would say right off the bat that the taste very much follows the nose. A lot of hops and uh, malts mixed together, soapy malts, or sorry, soapy hops, bready doughy malts. It's not a particularly sweet actually, it's quite the opposite I would say. Dry. It's more of a dry character to it. Uh, let's go. Let's go for a second uh, sip here. Oh. 
slight hint of caramel, slight hint of fudge, soapy hops, uh, and that's basically it. It's a very dry character, very dry beer. Uh, a disappointment actually, because I don't notice any rum in there. It is, it is supposed to be a rum infused uh, strong ale. Uh, you know, there you go. You got the uh, A.H. Riese, the big Danish rum producer, added rum, they say there. Uh, don't really get that rum, unfortunately. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, so, a little bit of a uh, disappointment, actually. I do get a lot of malts. It's bready, doughy, biscuity. I do get the hops, subsequent hops there, soapy, kind of dry, astringent hops. Uh, but I don't really get the rum, unfortunately. And I mean, it's all about the rum, isn't it? I mean, they're advertising it all over the bottle, all over that uh, lovely box there. Let's go for the final sip, see what we get, guys. Mm. Okay, so gotta be honest guys, gotta be honest, uh, don't really get the rum in there. That's a huge disappointment because I got this as a gift actually. Uh, and I was so, I mean, I was really excited for this one. Uh, I mean, Brigerit Westfin, the Westfin brewery, I reviewed a couple of beers from these guys. There. I think they have done some quite good porters and uh, stouts. But for this one, which is one of their 15 years uh, anniversary beers, I'm, for, I'm, I'm unfortunately, unfortunately there, guys, I'm not really all that impressed. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of hops and malts. Doughy, bready, biscuity, hint of caramel, hint of fudge maybe with a little bit of... Uh, Goodwill, you can get a little bit of fudge, uh, but I don't get any rum whatsoever, and that's unfortunate. For me, guys, uh, I mean, yeah, it's drinkable, it's all that, but hey, they don't really deliver as what they what they advertise, basically, on the bottle and on the uh, that lovely looking uh, box there. For me, it's going to, going to be a 3.25 out of 5. That's just everything you had for today. Thank you for watching.